pretty easy trail so far. Following the creek upstream. There's old Julie. I see a little snow up there towards Paulina Peak. I think that's what that is up there. Kind of new to the area, so not real familiar with everything. Pretty enough though. We're still following the creek. Up towards Paulina Lake. There's a nice little pool. There you go. Hi. Hello. Hello. That's looking back towards Factor and whatever is on the other side of the highway, 97. Nice little waterfall. There's a little waterfall. And there's another little one. Twin. Twin waterfall. Onward. Sign here, 10 mile trailhead and road 500. I don't know what either one of them are, but... Oh. Paulina is only three more miles. Oh, that's good. We've already come four miles, I guess. So onward on trail number 3956. There's some nice ponderosa pines there. Uh, let's walk up there so Julie can get in there. Let's see what something to judge by. Pretty good size. I guess we might be able to make it all the way up to Paulina Lake because this trail is so easy. I uh, I had read somewhere that it was a little more difficult, but it's so far been super easy. Soft trail, no rocks. Pine needle cushions on your feet. Very gentle grade. No snow yet, although there are little patches here and there. So I think we're going to find some before too long. So far, really easy though. We've gone about, I don't know, coming on five miles. Check in later. That was a nice little spot. Starting to get a little more snow. Not sure what elevation we are, but apparently we're going up a little bit. Okay, we're still working our way up Paulina Creek, I believe it is. Should be getting kind of close to the lake. There's some different kind of pine tree than a ponderosa anyway. So we'll see what happens here. Should be getting close to the lake. Still getting a little more snow here and there. There's a big one that tipped over. Left a nice crater. Well, we're getting a little more snow. It's May 25th, 2016. 
I think we just had snow a couple nights ago up here. Not sure what elevation we are at, but I don't think it's too high. Maybe 5,000 something. Just a guess though, I don't know this area very well. Should be getting close to the lake. We're coming up on something man-made up here. Looks like a little viewing area. Looks like a waterfall. We're in the waterfalls again. Well, it looks like we're coming up to something up here. I believe it's a lake. Yeah, we just saw the falls back there. And there's a road here. And a bridge. And the lake. Yeah. So this is looking backwards where we came from. The campground is six where we started. Uh, create a rim trail that way. I think the lake is this way. Other sign. Let's go on the bridge and look at the lake. Looks like a little control structure here holding the lake back. And a pair of mallards. There's a boat out there. Well, that looks to be Paulina Peak, I'm guessing. And this is Paulina Lake. And there's Julie. She's happy about everything. We're going to have a little lunch. Very nice view right here. The lake goes out that way. There's a landing. And some other stuff. I imagine there's some kind of fish in here. Very pretty, though. Good spot to eat lunch. Right here. Well, we had lunch at a nice little spot on the lake there with Paulina Peak in the background. Now we're heading back down. It took us about two or two and a half hours to get up there. Well, we were kind of going slow. It's six or seven miles. One sign says six, one sign says seven, one way. So, it was real pretty up there. Well, there's an osprey nest up there. The bird was in it a few minutes ago. I'm not sure if it's got a young one in there, but... Can you see it there? Maybe by the time we get up to it, the bird will be back if we don't scare it away. Well, there's the osprey nest. No osprey, though. Maybe he's up at the lake looking for fish. 
That would be my guess, because they were just there a few minutes ago. We heard them and then we saw them. We're still working our way down Paulina Creek, back to the McKay campground where we started. Never did see the osprey. There's a nice ponderosa pond. There are a few big ones that they didn't get logged out of. That's got to be pretty old. He's a big boy. Pretty cool. A lot of nice ponderosas up in here. Pretty nice. Okay, we're back to the sign here that was about halfway through the hike. There are the twin waterfalls again. If it was a little hotter, I'd go jump in there. Not that hot today. Only in the 50s. Still working our way back towards McKay Crossing Campground. View of some of the Cascade Mountains in the background there. Uh, real clear, but real pretty. Well, that just about concludes our trip, our hike for today. I see our vehicle down there. In the campground. I'd say the, I'd rate the hike overall as easy, maybe a couple places might be considered moderate, but overall I would say easy. Uh, it says seven there, so I guess round trip 14, although well, the sign at the top says a little different information, but so. It was fun. Well worth it. Now, time for a cold beer. Back at home, of course.